So, today's lore is brought to you by Vigil Beats, and if you'd like to hear any lore, and I mean any lore whatsoever, make sure you're in the Discord with the link below. It'll take you to the Discord, make sure you're there, because once a week, I ask a question pertaining to the lore. Whoever gets the question right gets to pick this week's lore. And like I said, by way of Vigil Beats, this week's lore on Mr. New Vegas and New Vegas Radio is coming at you hot and fast. Now, I'll be honest with you. The lore for Radio New Vegas, New Vegas Radio, is very, very slim. Uh, I don't even really know what I'm going to put behind me at the time because Mr. New Vegas, the radio station, aren't things that I believe you can physically find. You can't go there. There is a card. There is a New Vegas collector's card behind me somewhere that you will be seeing. But... The main radio station being Radio New Vegas in the Mojave of 2281. It's hosted by the ever-charismatic Mr. New Vegas, which I'll get a little more into him and the inspiration and where he's from and what he means to history and to the game itself. He plays a mixture of music from the 40s to the 60s, and it's a bit of a contrast from the Mojave music radio, which plays a lot of like rockabilly and country western songs, but there are some songs that do have some overlap. Now... I'd like to play some voice clips of news, which is not something that I've normally done, but I feel like it's fitting because this character is a liter literally a disembodied voice. So for the next maybe minute or two, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, this is all stuff I have to do in post-production, there will be some of my favorite clips of news from uh, Mr. New Vegas. So please, without further ado, enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our program. This is Mr. New Vegas, and each and every one of you is wonderful in your own special way. Welcome back to the Mr. New Vegas Show, the show within my opinion, which I respect, the best-looking audience around. Somebody prove me wrong? Whoops, better put on my newsman fedora here. A package courier found shot in the head near Good Springs has reportedly regained consciousness and made a full recovery. Now that's a delivery service you can count on. Top's hotel owner Benny has been killed by an unidentified assailant. His former right-hand man, Swank, consoled mourners. If I know my pal Benny, he's swinging with the big cat upstairs as we speak. Or he's chasing some angel broad with cans as big as our halo. <laughs> the president of the NCR has been killed at Hoover Dam. President Kimball was slated to give a rallying speech to troops stationed there. An assassin attacked the president in full view of the crowd, but was not apprehended. Witness descriptions of the killer differ wildly. Once again, NCR President Aaron Kimball, dead at 48. Refugees at Bitter Springs are giving startling accounts of the legate known as Lanius, who is said to be Caesar's top field commander. One refugee told us the legate took over an underperforming squad of troops by beating its commander to death in full view of everyone. The legate then ordered a tenth of his own force be killed by the other nine tenths. And you thought your boss was a pain. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that. Some of the songs that can be played on Radio New Vegas are Ain't That a Kick in the Head by Dean Martin, Big Iron by Marty Robinson, I'm sorry, Marty Robbins, Blue Moon by Sinatra, Heartaches by the Number, phenomenal song. That's actually from 1980, though. Huh. Uh, it's a Sin to Tell a Lie from 1979, Jingle Jangle Jingle by the uh, K. Kaiser Orchestra, Johnny Guitar by Peggy Lee, to... Uh, Love Me As Though There Were No Tomorrow by Nat King Cole, Mad About the Boy, featuring Helen Foster, Sit and Dream by Pete Thomas, Something's Gotta Give, oh, fantastic, by Bing Crosby, Why Don't You Do Right by Dave Barbercourt, the Dave Barber Quartet featuring Peggy Lee. There's some instrumentals there, uh, American Swing, Hello Mr. X, Manhattan, Slow Bounce. There are four songs, here's some notes, again, I get all my lore off fallout.fandom.com. There are four songs that are played on all three of the main radio stations being Big Iron, Heartaches by the Number, It's a Sin to Tell Lie, and Johnny Guitar. Mr. New Vegas actually quotes the title of You're Nobody Until Somebody Loves You by Dean Martin, 
saying that that somebody that loves you is Mr. New Vegas, but that song doesn't show up anywhere in the game, and I didn't realize that now. From the behind the scenes, it says there are four songs, four songs, that were indicated uh, to be written and performed by Josh Sawyer for the game and were intended to be played on the radio. There's evidence that they might have been intended to play, but were cut from the playlist, but they can still be heard elsewhere in game. Huh. So that itself is Radio New Vegas. Not much about it. Um, there's a lot of it that's kind of just left up to interpretation from me reading the wiki. I would assume it would just be the radio station. I would assume that uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, the, the strip, the casinos have their own radio station. Where I grew up in Pennsylvania, about an hour and a half away, was a casino. Uh, and that's where I found out I love to gamble. Not on the slots, not on cards, but on horses. I'm a degenerate like Bukowski. And I would go there and watch, and they had a radio station set up in there. And it was only like a little one-man operation. You could see the guy on the boards with like a nice Sennheiser or, or Schur or something in front of him. Uh, but like, it was cool. And like, those are the few times where I like see something I'm like, Ooh, Ooh, what are you doing? You hear my mouth just make a weird mouth, a silly little mouth sound. So I could assume that there is somewhere, even if it's in the 38, there is a radio station. And for every radio station, you need yourself a DJ, right? Only makes sense. Introducing... Mr. New Vegas, an AI personality created by Mr. House prior to the Great War. He has the sole purpose to host Radio New Vegas. That's it. Does not exist. The card that is most likely behind me, I'm just going to step out of the way and do this. The card that is most likely behind me is his card. It's just a microphone. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. What I like so much about these games having these narrators in a sense is that on the radio, he'll comment on what the courier has done, you, the player, has done, as well as what's going on outside of your actions when he talks about the legate known as Lanius. Stuff like that, which I might have actually played prior. Stuff like that I love because it makes you feel like the world is so much more alive than it actually is. And it isn't just ones and zeros that are programmed to go off at certain times. It also makes you feel like you're just part of it. Like you're alive in this world where you belong. And I appreciate that stuff. So, to follow the theme of last segment, being more about the news, I'm going to play some quotes, some stuff that maybe Mr. New Vegas would say before he gets into songs, before he goes off on his tangents, before he explains what the character has been doing, what the Legion has been doing, what the NCR, what he says after certain quests have happened. So, again, without further ado, I present you with more quotes from the one and only Mr. New Vegas. The women of New Vegas ask me a lot if there's a Mrs. New Vegas. Well, of course there is. You're her. And you're still as perfect as the day we met. Gonna play a song for you right now. And it's about that special someone you find only once in a blue moon. Got a song for you now. It's about a guy who's cold on the exterior, but deep down, you know, he's a good man. And his name is Johnny Guitar. Here's Bing, 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 Bing Crosby reminding us of those times when you absolutely have to kiss the person you love. Something's got to give. <laughs> Up next. You know, sometimes the journey beats the destination, and especially if your spurs go jingle, jangle, jingle, and you meet some nice gals along the way. Welcome back. I have some quick notes. Again, I'll follow out at fandom.com. Some of his news will be based on the reputation and karma of the courier, which I've honestly never noticed. And I'm not saying that it's lying. I just never noticed it because I feel like I kind of play more or less the same way. Like I know who to not that I play the same way. Like I've, I try to do things differently, but comma, I've never really noticed it, to be honest. Lately, I've also been playing without the radio on just because I've been streaming New Vegas when I do play it. Now for some behind the scenes, Mr. New Vegas is voiced by the real life Vegas-based star Wayne Newton, also known as Mr. Las Vegas. One of his intros references his own song from 1965, Coming On Too Strong. Now, if you're like me, the only way you might know Wayne Newton outside of Fallout New Vegas 
is that one Griswold family, the the Lampoon Griswold family movie with with uh, Chevy Chase. I don't know why I spaced on his name. And I think it's Elvis's wife or daughter that plays his wife in those movies. They go to Vegas and Clark Griswold's wife is like trying to hook up with Wayne Newton. So I might have just unlocked a memory. Maybe you already knew that. Maybe you have no clue what I'm talking about. Either way, Wayne Newton's a real man. This one I thought was interesting. Mr. DeVegas' line, Mojave, Mo Problems, am I right, folks? Is a reference to the notorious B.I.G. song, Mo Money, Mo Problems. This line is only heard if you take the Wild Wasteland perk, which, or trait, sorry, the Wild Wasteland trait, which I didn't know um, until I read this the first time. And I thought that was crazy just because, which I didn't know because Biggie died in, like, 96, 97? So, you know, I wouldn't think there'd be a hip-hop reference in a game that is, like, retro-futurism. Mr. New Vegas also sometimes says, stay classy, New Vegas, which is a reference to the film Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, where that was his sign-off. I've only seen parts of Anchorman, but he said, uh, I'm pretty sure it was like, stay classy, San Francisco. Mr. New Vegas will occasionally say tensions are brewing in Freeside between the ruling gang known as the Kings and a large number of NCR squatters seeking refuge there. The leader of the Kings, who would only identify himself as the King, voiced his displeasure calling N- calling NCR citizens, quote, the devil in disguise. He added he didn't want to see any NCR in the ghetto and calls for a mass, quote, return to sender. <laughs> this is a reference to the Elvis Presley songs, the devil in disguise, in the ghetto, and return to sender. I grew up with a mom and a great grandmother and a grandmother who loved Elvis. So I remember hearing that first time being like, I know those songs. I get that. Like, like that Iron Man or uh, Captain America meme that went around for a while. It was like, I get that one. That's pretty much all I have. He's fun. I wish there was more about him. I wish there was a little, I wish you could visit the radio station. I kind of like that. You can't, you know, if you've been watching the show for a while, you know me, big three dog guy over here. Bow, wow, wow. So I'm a sucker for the radio men. But that, my friends, is lore. Wait. But that, my friends, is all I have to say. And that is, in fact, lore. Lore.